decided to share with you a drawing exercise that I call the never ending line and it's actually more of a game than it is an exercise. Uh, the never ending line is created so that the line that makes the drawing is never broken. So the challenge is not to trap yourself while you're doing the drawing where you have to break the line. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this and all the supplies that you're going to need and I hope it's a lot of fun for you and I think you'll be impressed with the beautiful patterns that you'll end up making. Now here's what you're going to need. Construction paper that I just bought here at the craft store and it has all kinds of colors in it and it doesn't matter for this which color you you use. I think I'll just pick a dark one and take blue. You're going to need some acrylic paint. Now I bought this at the <clears throat> craft store here and I think I paid just about a dollar twenty for this and we'll need some water and a brush. Just any old brush will work. I'm using the flat. And then you need um, chalk. Now I just bought, again, the cheapest one I could find. This is Crayola chalk. They're 12. And actually their colors are pretty bright. So that is um, very nice. Okay? That's what we're going to use. You will also need some newspaper to paint on to protect the table. I also got a uh, paper plate and put my paint right on there. And here is the blue construction paper. And you just want to cover your construction paper with the black acrylic paint. Now I've taken the, the newspaper away and I wanted to show you the, uh, this is black construction paper that I have not painted. Okay? And you can go ahead and do this project right on this if you want. Like I said, I really like the darker. You can see the difference there. This is the painted one and I just like the darker black look with the chalk. So that's what I'm going to use, but you don't have to. So you could eliminate the painting process if you want. So here are the colors that I'm going to use. The, there's six colors in that box. And I'm going to begin with the yellow because it's the brightest. And I'm going to start here in the center. Now you can start anywhere on the paper that you want. Um, I've done it in all four corners, but I think what I want to do is just try the um, start with the center here. Remember, the object is not to get trapped as you draw. I'll show you what I mean. So you can see how this little pattern, I have a place to go. I'm not blocked off by any kind of design. If I come up here, always have to find a way out of the area. Do you see that? So that I can begin a new pattern. Now I think I want to change colors which is okay. I'm going to go from the yellow to the green and go this way. I'm going to start with another color. I think I'll take the red.
And I just want to go back over with you. Here's where I started. And I kept coming around, going out, and then starting a new pattern. And I think a, maybe a clear way to say this is when you're drawing, you do not want to cross or draw on top of another line. I think that's what I mean by trapping yourself. You want your line always to be um, heading forward, making a new line, a new pattern, without crossing over another line that you've already made. If we go back down here, you'll remember that I trapped myself. I came this way. Now, let's see, I started here, went around, and I closed it off. So I had to cross this line, and that's what I mean by trapping. I was stuck inside of here. I really, you know, that's where I uh, got trapped. Then I just had to cross over and then come out, and I worked with the, I think I worked with the purple, or maybe I was over here. But anyway, that's the fun of the game, is to see if you can keep yourself from crossing over a line that you've already made. Uh, it doesn't really take a long time. It's actually very fun. Everyone is very different. You might want to try starting in a corner and working your way out from that corner up to the opposite um, opposite corner. Again, you do not have to paint the back of your um, construction paper. That's just what I wanted to do. Uh, I just like the darker black. Uh, so that's that's really your choice and you know you could do it all in one color you could pick two colors there's all kinds of variations that you could do with this really fun um, drawing project so I thank you for for watching this I hope that you will let me know if you did the line drawing you can always email your picture to me maybe I have a way to show them on my blog so hope to offer you more art lessons or art activities in the future. Bye-bye.